In this unit circle survival guide, we'll find the exact value of the cosine of 19 pi over 6 using SARC. So SARC is just an acronym um, for our method to find an exact value. And you can see here's our template. So we'll sketch the angle's terminal side. That's the S. The A helps us to think of ASTC, which will help us determine which trig functions are positive in each quadrant and thus we'll be able to decide if our final answer is positive or negative. The R tells us to find the reference angle and then the special right triangle that goes with it so that we can get the coordinates um, that correspond to that triangle. And then the C stands for calculate, where we'll calculate the trig ratio we need. So we're trying to find the cosine of 19 pi over six. And to start, we're going to sketch the angle's terminal side. Notice that our angle is positive, so we're rotating in the counterclockwise direction. And also notice that this angle is a greater rotation than 2 pi, or all the way around a unit circle, um, because 12 pi over 6 would be equivalent to 2 pi. So to make this angle's terminal side easier to sketch, let's find an angle that's coterminal to 19 pi over 6. And we'll do that simply by subtracting 2 pi, or with a common denominator, we can rewrite 2 pi to be 12 pi over 6. So subtracting, we get that 7 pi over 6 is coterminal to 19 pi over 6, and that means they share the same terminal side. So if we can sketch the terminal side for 7 pi over 6, it's the same for 19 pi over 6. Um, the difference is just in how you rotated to get there. All right, so we are rotating counterclockwise. We have 0. Here's pi. If it helps you to think of pi in this instance as 6 pi over 6, I think that makes it easier to see that you rotate a half circle and then just a little bit past. So your terminal side, 7 pi over 6, should be in quadrant 3. Okay, now that we have our angle sketched, we can use ASTC. Think all students take classes. And you use that acronym to work your way around from quadrant 1 to quadrant 4 and it tells you which trig functions are positive in each of these quadrants. So they're all positive in quadrant one, sine and cosecant are positive in two, tangent and cotangent are positive in three, and cosine and secant are positive in four. So let's get back to quadrant three. That's where our angle's terminal side is. Okay, so only tangent and cotangent will be positive in quadrant three. And since we're trying to find the cosine of 19 pi over six, our final answer must be negative. So we'll go ahead and make note of that. And the reason we go ahead and make this determination in step two is so that in our next step, when we find our reference triangle and coordinates, we can just work in quadrant one. We don't have to worry about which values are negative. Um, we don't have that possibility of error in our calculations. Um, we will simply get to find that triangle, use our quadrant one knowledge, and make our calculations. Okay, so let's find our reference angle and our special right triangle. All right, so a reference angle is simply the amount of rotation between the angle's terminal side and the x-axis, so it's that angle right here. So we know that we rotated just a little bit past pi, or 6 pi over 6, to get to 7 pi over 6. And specifically, we rotated 1 pi over 6 past. Um, that's how we can find that reference angle. So when we think of our special right triangle, we know that pi over 6 is the same thing as 30 degrees. So we're working with the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. And from our knowledge of that triangle, we know that the coordinates that go with that on the unit circle are root 3 over 2 and 1 half. And we know that because our horizontal leg is the longer one for this triangle. All right, now we're ready to calculate. The cosine of an angle on the unit circle is simply the x-coordinate. So we can look at our first quadrant x-coordinate, take our sine from step two, and we know that the cosine of 19 pi over six must be negative root three over two. And we're done. Be sure to check the video description below for um, links to more worked examples of exact values. And there will also be a link to a playlist that will have videos that help with each individual skill that we used in this exact value uh, SARC method. So if you need help with any of those, be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching.